Excited to be back on the couch with psychic medium Matt Frazier. You are a big reality show star now, aren't you? Well, you're about to become one, aren't you? <laughs> about to be. About, listen, I don't feel like a celebrity. I mean, they still charge me $2.50 for an iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. So until that changes, I don't feel like a celebrity. All I know is I'm just a guy who sees and hears dead people. All right, so sees and hears dead people, but you, you're turning it into a, a franchise. Well, no, not really. I mean, I can't help it. People just follow me around with, with cameras. I mean, my day-to-day -day life hasn't changed. I go out. I help people connect with their people who have passed on, you know, deliver their messages of healing and, you know, uh, messages that are going to help them through their day and help them to embrace life. So and it's just cameras following me around. Yeah, so tell people the series isn't out yet. It's going to be sometime in early 2020. But what are we going to see and where can people watch it? So the show is called Meet the Frasers. Okay. And it's so much more than just a reality show because it follows my life, my readings, my family, and more importantly, the work that I do. I mean, people oftentimes, they'll see my shows, They'll see, you know, my live events, but they don't get to see my personal life. They don't get to see what goes on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I try to live a normal life, even though I'm, by, I'm bothered by the departed. <laughs> by, by, what, what, it, what has it been like for you? I mean, to, to experience all these cameras following you. Well, I've been living with 26 strangers every single day, you know. They're in your house? They're, they're the with ones you. that are alive. The ones that are alive. Okay. But I'm also, <laughs> but you know, to me, it's no different because I'm followed by dead people. You know, I have dead people follow me around, you know, trying to talk to me. Now I have cameras following me around. I, I Sometimes you can't differentiate who's living, who's dead. So it, but part of it goes into your big Italian family and your girlfriend's family. And, you know, you come from here, come from Rhode Island. Yes, I but do. But let me ask you this. So do you turn it off if you're at dinner with your family, Thanksgiving's coming? coming up like, uh, you know, can you just talk to your family like normally? Or are you like, oh, you know, Aunt Edna's here and this is what she's got to say right now? So I try to, uh -huh. but you know, if there's a soul that has to come through or that wants to come through, they will come through and start talking to me. I mean, there is no hanging up on heaven. It doesn't happen. When you're a medium, you know, the other side knows that they can speak to me and connect with me. So they'll take advantage and do so whenever they can. And that's the reason why I love my group readings, because when I'm there, it's two hours of just going and reading and reconnecting as many people as possible with their loved ones on the other side. I love doing this work. Is Halloween a, a, a busier time of year than other times of year? Is, there is that true? Uh, no. Is there, a season? is there a season? Not for me. There's, there's no medium season. I mean, you know, it's. I think that Halloween is just a time when we think more about the other side and think about death. And, you know, people get a little bit concerned. But, you know, with my messages, they stay the same. I mean, souls don't come through based on holiday. They come through because they're trying to reach someone they love here in this world. Okay. So you do have a group event coming up. It's going to be at Foxwood from 1 to 3 on Sunday, November 3rd. A lot of times people ask me, like, oh, what's it like? The psych is on your show. What, should I go? What am I going to experience? Can you share with the audience, if they're thinking about maybe I want to try this, what, what's involved? Yeah, absolutely. If you're coming to a group reading with me, just know that this is so much more than a live event. It literally is a family reunion with heaven. The moment I walk into the room, I start to see all of these people who have died. It's like they replace the audience. And they'll tell me, you know, come over here and talk to my daughter. You know, I have to let her know that I'm sorry. Or I might have a son that comes through that wants to talk to his father to let his father know that he's okay. I mean, you name it, brothers, fathers, sisters, grandfathers, they all come through you know, from the other side trying to deliver messages. It's really amazing. And not everybody's going to get picked, but the people who do get picked are picked for a reason because they're coming, their, their relatives are coming through. So souls will only come through if they have a message for you. You know, your grandmother's not going to come through and just talk about her couch, you know, here in this world. They have to have a specific, a specific message oh, that right. they want to deliver that's going to help you heal and help you to embrace life. I mean, during a group reading, literally, I read many, many, many people. I can't get to everybody, but I literally uh, go wherever the souls on the other side point me and guide me to go. Because so many times people leave this world and, you know, we have so many questions. You know, are they at peace? Are they okay? Maybe they passed unexpectedly. And that's why these messages are so important because they give people what they need to be able to heal and move on with life. So also for you, that you call this a calling, you've had this since you were a kid and you want to do good works and you have an event coming up where people uh, can actually just come and help with a charity as well. Also, uh, it's Stuff a Bus. Stuff the Bus at Foxwoods, yep. So I'm going to be at Foxwoods November um, 2nd and 3rd okay, for this event. Okay, the whole weekend. So Stuff I'm the, the Bus whole first weekend. and then the readings. Yes. 
So if you have a toy that you'd like to donate to a child, you can bring it to my live show and donate it there or bring it to Foxwoods for the Stuff the Bus. The wonder of it all. Blankets, pajamas, jackets, diapers, unwrapped toys, lots of things. Absolutely. It'll go to Take a chance, make it happen. Take a chance, make it happen with Matt Fraser. We're just getting started on this Thursday. Thank you, Matt. We appreciate Thank you being Thank here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Uh, yeah. you're, it's always a pleasure. All right. We are just getting started on we this are. Thursday. Mm -hmm. So, uh, still to come, who wouldn't want to eat this? We're going to tell you. It's coming up. Where, where oh you can, oh my God. gosh, look at, look at that. Look at it's that. delicious. It's from a great local eatery that happens to be called The Eatery. And experience lifelike creatures from another period of time. More on a fascinating event that is making it stop right here in Connecticut. You're watching Better Connecticut on your Thursday afternoon. We'll be right back. Look at that. That dinosaur is actually...